All right. I'm at Tampa General Hospital. As you guys know, I just had my right shoulder replaced. Boston Lloyd showed up, as he did last year, or when I had my uh, left shoulder done. He brought me Chinese food again, and we had a... What, what were we talking about the whole time you were here? Uh, shitty coaches, fro <laughs> everyone that's getting fucked in the industry. That's right. We should have recorded all of it. It would have been like a, the, the, the greatest video of all time. The, uh, the guys who only train genetic freaks and make everyone else look like shit. <laughs> that's right. Now, and I hear you're, you're training people in China now. The yeah, Chinese people I, I, have reached two, out to you. Two Chinese people now, so... From Team China. <laughs> that came from, uh, we know who. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it in my videos. Well, Mil Milos was training someone from China. He turned a pro. Is that part of the Milos crew there? Well, they, Milos has a few of them, but they're really sick of him. Oh. Well, they're sick of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because of his, his, his response <laughs> time. Milos was, well, Milos was living there for three for three months. Okay. So he probably yeah. charged him uh, $500,000 for that. Yeah, well, I think he tried to take on a team there and made him look soggy. So oh. they're kind of pissed. <laughs> now, Boston, are you going to work out? No, no, no. Uh, I'm oh. going to like work out later. All right. We had, we had some Chinese food. Boston ate, and so I, I know that he is eating food. Now, you, you have problems eating. You're always telling me. No, no, no. I don't have problems eating. It's just that I think... I always try to overeat. Right. And when when you I you look big, you look very big. I've, I don't think I've seen you as big in a long time. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm like two seventy and I'm decent shape. Yeah. So I want to get to two eighty, two eighty five, and mm. well, maybe I'll hire you to reject the pro card. <laughs> <laughs> so you because you had told me a couple years ago that you didn't want to compete anymore. Now you're changing your mind. I, I the only time I would compete is if I knew I could grab a pro card right and then reject it. Like right. at nationals or something, I'll be like, Dave, come down. We'll do a video. We'll do a video on it. I'll well, be, you'll prep me. You for never it. know. You got to You got to have to just do it and, and hope that yeah. you know that, that, that no one. Honestly, with it. the quality, how it is, yeah. I think I could do it in the next couple of years. I mean, yeah. this. I right. mean, so you're 26, right? 26. Yeah. So you still got a couple of years to hit your yeah. peak, maybe yeah. two more years. And I, I mean, I'm finally settled at the at a house. I got. All the drugs ready. You know, <laughs> Boston's got a five-year supply of Yes, of I stuff, do. So I mean, at least five years. If supply. they stop making steroids, Boston will be Mr. Olympic. I hoard it. I yep. hoard the shit. That's why everyone's going to be like out and I'm going to be still pumping. I used shit. to do that too. I used yeah. to think I needed two years yes. in advance just in yes. case they stop making steroids. And I don't think, I don't think they go bad. No, so, I don't think so. Any yeah. oil-based stuff lasts a long time. No, and I live in a dark area in, yeah. a, in an AC well, room. Smart. So I'm surprised you don't refrigerate them. Although I don't well, think you growth, should. All the growth is refrigerated. Yeah, I, I do that too because I think it's climate controlled is a better. You than... growth, you free, you put your gear in there for the No, no, just the just the growth. Oh, okay, yeah, my growth is all in the fridge. Because they always say you don't, it can be room temperature, but I don't trust yeah, it. No, I no. think the refrigerator. The Chinese GH good. I leave outside in room temp, but the the pharmaceutical stuff. I would stuff, put it all. Really? In, I would put it all in the refrigerator because yeah. I think it has a better shelf life when you do. Yeah, it. Yeah. You could, yeah, you're right. Maybe with the humidity too. Yeah. Now, what, what do you think about all these these new gurus out there that are putting out all these crazy protocols and? I know you, you like to attack a lot of them and then expose them. Have you gotten a lot of uh, kickback from that? I think it's very dumb. I, I think a lot of this stuff that's coming out is dumb. And I think guys are actually going away from trainers like you mm -hmm. and me or, in, or any, uh, anyone that's basic mm -hmm. because they think there's like some new and improved right. way. And there's not. It's either you have the genetics and you're going to respond to the drugs or you're going to respond slower and you just need to be more consistent with right. it. You need to stay in the game longer. And you'll get the results because, like me, I'm not a, I don't have the genetics, but I've been doing this six years, and every year I make some kind of improvement. Yeah. I think people just want a quick way, quick right. fix, and these coaches preach a quick fix, mm -hmm. and they True. go to them. I mean, I just interviewed Dorian. I know you haven't watched the interview yet, but in Dubai, and we talked about training and how the reason why we don't see the physiques we saw in the 90s is because the training has has deteriorated. People are Correct. more worried about the drugs and the food, and they just they don't they don't train hard anymore Correct. they don't train heavy anymore they they're very worried about well, social and, media and i don't i think too i think more of the issue too of, of a lot of this is people try to either overtrain and then they try to overeat mm -hmm. and then they get burnt out right so they'll be good for three months mm -hmm. and then they'll have to take months off because they're beat up right. and they're burnt out i think you need to have a plan that's consistent that you could do every day of the year yeah well, you know what i mean you know dorian said that and I always believe this too in my career. Less training is better. In other Correct. words, you can train four or five days a week, take two days you can, off. You can have longevity with that too. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I, you know, you're lifting heavier weights, so you, you think, theoretically can get hurt. But, but I think, I think some people, better. I think some people are strong in general because I'm not strong, mm -hmm. but I could grow with intensity. I feeling. was stronger when I when I trained less than okay. training more. When Correct. I did volume, my strength went yeah. right down the tubes. Yeah, Boston, uh, you, you have shoulder problems too? No, I'm, but I, I'm <laughs> pumped. I got an insulin let me, pump. Let me, let me hold this so I, I can took, show, I, I want to show people Boston's uh, biceps. Let me, show me your biceps. Pretty good. What are you, 270? 270. That's, I that's took some you. metformin. <laughs> I did. I took some metformin with that Chinese food. <laughs> but I mean, I, I mean, I'm in, I'm in, de I'm in decent shape. You don't do 20 units of insulin before you go to the gym. 20 in the in the morning. Uh, 20 at the gym and then 20 no, after. No, fuck that. I do. Uh -huh. I, I'm more of. Um, 
I know you never really liked it, but I, I like that Lantus stuff because I don't feel like I need to eat. No, I, I like Lantus stuff because guys are. I'm testing. I'm making guys test their blood sugars, and every guy, almost every guy in GH, is high at? fasting. Blood Where are they sugars. at now? They're over a hundred. No, I'm fasting. saying with Lantus. I usually start them out 15 at night and 10 in the Correct, morning. Correct, but where do you want them at? Uh, like, I want their blood sugar under 90. Under 90. Under 90. Okay. Under 90. I'm, about, I'm about 89 to 91 okay. in the morning. That, that, yeah. that's, that's pretty close. But, but I'm on 10, I use a growth. Okay. But, so, yeah, I so, mean, but I'm saying I think that more guys should be using Lantus as a way to fix correct. high blood sugars. You could use... But don't you think fixing high blood sugars in a way is going to help with nutrient absorption? Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of guys can't grow because they're not yeah, absorbing the nutrients. Yeah. And they're causing side effects. In and body. I think a lot of guys are abusing GH and not using yeah. enough insulin. Yeah. And a lot of people think that insulin causes diabetes, but yeah. it's excessive growth, horm growth hormone without the support absolutely, of insulin. Absolutely. Insulin is yeah. preventing diabetes. Yeah. Because it's taking the burden off the pancreas. Exactly. So, I mean, we have the same views. Yeah. I always tell people, me and Dave have the same views. He taught me... The car, every carb up protocol I use with my clients is yours. Right. It's the one cup of rice, and then I alternate fats with yeah. oil, nuts. Yeah. These guys are doing fucking rice cakes with jam and jelly. Know, Their blood sugars are up and down. Yeah. I have a funny story before we do this. Phil Viz will laugh. So I went to see Phil Viz, and uh, his buddy Luke was doing the pro show in Tampa. Okay. They had an Airbnb. <laughs> and I like Phil. He's harmless, and, I, and he's very knowledgeable. He's very Intellectually, he's very yeah. smart. But I think it's pointless. He's, he has his client posing, and he's looking at him like this, and he's like, blood sugar, take your blood sugar. <laughs> Takes his blood sugar, pose 15 minutes, and then <laughs> Phil Viz is walking around looking at him, take your blood sugar. <laughs> he had him taking his blood sugar like every fucking 15 minutes, right? And I'm like, in my head, it's like, is that going to make a difference at the end of the day? Probably not, yeah. Probably. And it's like, all right, you're going to have him eat 10 jelly sticks or whatever with... <laughs> Take your blood. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just almost like bro science. Micromanaging like, of, of, of that. Yeah, and it's just too much. And it's like, if you keep things simple, it, like you said, if you're, you're either going to respond to the drugs or you're not. Yeah. And insulin, for instance, insulin in excess for me, I think I have a lot of like targeted gut mm -hmm. growth. Yeah, you get, you get abdom intra abdominal fat. Correct. Or, or even muscle. I mean, it's a muscle if you mm -hmm. train it and yeah. it grows. Yeah. So you got to, if you're trying to be a good bodybuilder, which I'm not, trying to be a good bodybuilder, try to work on keeping that waist low and growing everything else, which requires less drugs, honestly. Yeah, I, I agree. The more yeah. drugs, the more blown out you get, for sure. Um, but if you like the big monster look, you know, you're going to have to take, you know, some insulin and growth. But if you want to be a good bodybuilder, those guys that are winning the shows at 210 pounds, I guarantee they're not on no, much insulin. It, look, it, it, we, we know it's all about, you know, being smart. And I think a lot of people just want, like, some kind of magic potion. Yeah. Bottom line is you got to train hard, you got to eat hard, and you got to take yeah. the right amount of drugs, but you don't have to take excessive And drugs. stay consistent. I mean, I, right? Consistency is key. It, only people who fail are the people who quit, I always yes. say that. And, you know, I'm going to... I, I, for some reason, knew that the Boston Lloyd the visit to the hospital would turn into a, a drug roundtable, but... Uh, thank you, Boston. It's always Look, a pleasure I, I to see you, I shot some shit in there. Can you, can you guys tell? <laughs> it's always a shame that I have to wait for to, to go and get operated <laughs> on for Boston to come see me. But um, thanks for coming, Boston. And, guys, I hope you enjoy our little uh, shindig we had here. And uh, hopefully I won't be back in any hospitals anytime soon. Dave Plumbo with Boston Lloyd. We'll see you next time. See you guys.